there was one time a, a sort of heart charity, I think, came around to the school and they said, we're running a competition. You, you have to find a heart-shaped pebble. And if you find a really accurate heart-shaped pebble, you'll win an amazing prize. So I took it really seriously and I spent so many weekends at Porthcawl Beach looking for heart-shaped pebbles. And I found this perfect heart-shaped pebble and I, I won. So I remember I was about 10 and uh, I was told I was to get on a minibus and be driven into Cardiff. That was the nearest town. That was quite a big deal going into, the, into town. Um, and my older brother came with me as sort of chaperone because I was quite young. So I remember um, uh, being driven to a quite posh hotel. This man said, you're very lucky. You're, you've won. In that room is dire straits. <laughs> And I didn't know... No one expected the story to go that no, way. No, I... Ten. I didn't know what dire straits was. Didn't know what it meant. Didn't know... The group no or the situation. The, the group. The group. Yeah. I'd never heard of them. <laughs> I was only ten. I thought it was some sort of scary ride, so I burst into tears. I'm only ten. I have to go into this hotel room, and there's Mark... Not... Flo, not is that Flo, his yeah. name? He was standing there. No. He said, hello. Yes. You are mental. No, honestly, this happened. <laughs> and then... <laughs> And I was so scared, I didn't know what Dire Straits was, I had no idea, and he said, do you want an autograph? And I said, no. <laughs> and then, and then my, there was a buffet nearby, so my what? brother went, I'll have one. So my brother got a paper plate, and Mark Knopfler signed the paper plate. He looked at my heart-shaped pebble. I was really confused, didn't know who they were. And then he said to me, um, oh, we don't we get many sort of young girls listen to our music or something. And I don't know why, I said, sex is pig. <laughs> <laughs> and then I and then I went home, and I was really confused as to what Dire Straits <laughs> was and what had happened. Mark Knopfler lived in the flat above me, in Deptford. Do you Is know him to speak what's to? Going on? <laughs> what's going yeah. on? <laughs> <laughs> Can you ask him if he remembers being in a hotel room in Cardiff? I don't know if he'll don't remember that. I think he lives there oh, now. What with a young girl? I don't know him. <laughs> <laughs> I was, I was ten. Do you remember? Mark. How are we going to broach this? <laughs> <No>. <laughs> You probably don't remember me. You didn't know me at the time, but you lived in a flat above me. But do you remember being in a, a hotel room with a 12-year-old girl a in Cardiff... Holding a pebble. ..who's holding your pe a pebble? 